What's up, CFO gang? It's your boy, Jay Tuck. Real Cowboys fans stand up. So, yo, it's Saturday morning, and I'm officially headed to the airport to head to Tampa. Um, you know, and I'm excited, man. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I'm super excited. I know a lot of people think of me as this, like, the sports media guy, and, and I appreciate that because I work my tail off to kind of be viewed in that spotlight, man. But at the end of the day, as I always say, man, I'm a Dallas Cowboys hard hitter first. You know, I live this team. I breathe this team. I'm passionate about it, and it's kind of helped me you know, do a lot of the things I've accomplished in such a short time. You know, it's the reason why you're watching this video right now. So I'm excited, man. Um, you know, and a lot of people ask me like, yo, Tuck, what happens if the Cowboys lose? And I keep asking like, what happens if the Cowboys win? You know, I'm not afraid of failure. I don't live my life that way. And as I've been saying, you shouldn't either. So, you know, I'm excited about going down to this game and being around Cowboys fans and, you know, being with my mom and my family and sharing these experiences. This is what it's really about. The game is just extra. Like Cowboys Nation is what it's really about. It's about us. You know what I'm saying? But here's what I want to tell everybody, man. At the end of the day, we can't control what's going to happen on Monday. I can't control what's going to happen on Monday. It just is what it is. But what I can control is pulling up to Raymond James, repping my team, repping my star, supporting my team, and giving it all I fucking got, and that's what I plan on doing, and I hope whether you're at the stadium, whether you're at home, wherever you are, you do the same. traveling and do not have TSA pre, you could not travel with me, man. My wife, I don't care. You can't travel with me, man. You gotta have TSA pre. That way you gotta take your shoes off, gotta take your laptops off, all of that. But also get TSA clear and compare that, and combine that with TSA pre. And I promise you, your travel experience is gonna be lovely, man. Lovely, man. I ain't got it sitting. I get to the airport, I get in, get to my plane. That's how we do it. So get your TSA pre to check, do all that stuff, man. That's a big tuck tip. What's up, everybody? So your boy Jay Tuck has just landed in Tampa, man. And crazy thing, man. So I'm getting off the airplane, getting my luggage, you know, because the airport's been losing luggage lately. Um, and the traffic guy is kind of working at the airport, stops me, and he's like, hey, man, I can't let you go. I'm like, man, what is going on right now? Well, come to find out, he's just playing jokes. He sees a cowboy hat. He's an Eagles fan, man. He's an Eagles fan. He's talking to me about next week, talking about how the Eagles going to win the division and how they're going to they gonna win the Super Bowl and he's going to send Dallas home. And I'm just like, I just cannot escape. These Eagles fans, bro, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just the Eagle magnet, man, but I just find them everywhere. But he's a cool dude, man, and uh, he's been living here in Tampa for about, he said, 38 years, but he's an Eagles fan. He said the only time he's ever rooted for the Bucks will be on Monday, which I get it because – they don't want to see the star next week, but we got a lot of work to do before we even get there, man. But it's crazy. Even when I'm in Tampa, Eagles fans, man, they always on your boy, Jay Tuck. Downtown Tampa, it's beautiful out here, man. It's nice, nice. Got the water outside, man, and it's got some good food. Has some seafood. No margarita tuck, aquafina tuck, man. That's the new one. So, having a good time. Going to sit back and hang out, man. I'm probably gonna link up with my guy Mike Tag here in a little bit. Um, watch some football, just relax, you know. Like I really ain't got much plan here. I came here for one thing and one thing only, and that's to get that victory on Monday night. But Y'all know me, man. I love being around the water. Like, look at these yachts and boats, man. The water. Y'all know, man. It's peaceful. Gotta just come down to town, Tampa, man. Just chill on out. Come on, let's go get a boat. Let's go get a yacht. Have a bar boat party. See, Jerry bring his yacht out here. Pull up to Tampa. 
Let's see what that Jackson's Bistro Bar and Sushi restaurant is over there too. Yeah, man, a lot of Bucks fans here, a lot of Cowboys fans. Weirdly, a lot of Eagles fans I've ran into. see beautiful Tampa man right there is the um I think it's the lightning Tampa Bay lightning the hockey team stadium right there man it's actually people at the pool if y'all can see that but it's too cold I am not getting the pool I know Jay Tuck loves being at the beach and doing all sorts of stuff not today those people are kind of crazy man but I want to dive into something right now so I think Monday night will be the biggest game of Dak Prescott's career like it's a must win game y'all and we know the people who are logical, who like to talk football with context, right? We understand the quarterback doesn't solve all the issues, right? There's a lot of things, defense, special teams that can come into play. But I feel like at this point, man, we've done all the Dak arguments. It just is what it is. He has to find a way by any means necessary to just get this win. And not only get this win, get another one next week, man. So I expect Dak Prescott to be a full go to be, you know, using his legs, RPO. He even mentioned it in the interview that he did. Like, he knows what he has to do, man. So, we are going to have to lean on Dak Prescott to win this game. It's just facts. We're going to play off football, man. But I'm fully expecting Dak Prescott to have a big game on Monday. And it's going to be a variety of different ways. With his arms, with his legs. Like, just keeping drives alive. But at the end of the day, Dak, you got to win these games, man. We're, we're running out of bullets. I'm running out of bullets, man. I... I've done film breakdowns. We kind of explain it. Like I said, most rational Cowboys fans and football fans understand, like, it's not just on the quarterback. But if you really want to be in that conversation of some of these other elite quarterbacks, Dak Prescott has to find a way to win on Monday. And I believe he is. Miss your boy, Jay Tuck. Comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate everyone for following along with the vlog. A lot of people have been asking me to do this. I really don't like this style of recording, right? But it's kind of fun, man, because I do a lot of traveling, a lot of things for the Dallas Cowboys. A lot of people don't get to see that inside view. So I wanted to get this guys, you know, give you guys that view. So appreciate each and every one of you. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on all social media platforms at JTuck151. The merch, CFO gang, below. Get your, get, your, get, your, get your two pair, get your three pair, get your four pair. Go ahead and buy up the entire store. Use the code CFO again to get 10% off, man. I want everyone to stay safe, stay blessed, stay encouraged. And Dak, it's on you. Peace.